This is calculator question number 24. College Board t tells us about the sales of CDs in the United States, which declined by 15% of the number sold the preceding year each year. When you decline by a fixed amount, that's linear. When you decline by a, a fixed percentage or increase by a fixed percentage or fixed multiple, that would be exponential. And all our choices are exponential. The question is which models the number of CDs sold two years after 2005, where we decline by 15% each year. In choice A, at t equals 0, we get 600. At t equals 1, we only get 15% of 600. Rather than a 15% decline, we decline by 85%. We decline from 600 million to 90 million. So choice A is wrong, that's too big a decline. Choices C and D show an increase. In choice C, we increase by 15% each year. In choice D, we increase by 85%. But we're told the number of CD, CDs sold declined. So C and D are wrong. Choice B is correct. And if you check, at T equals 1, we have 15% fewer CDs than at T equals 0. And similarly, at t equals 2, we have 15% fewer than, than at t equals 1. The equation we're using here is C, the number of CDs, is our starting amount, which I'll just call A, times 1 plus R to the t. And if we're declining by 15%, R equals negative 0.15. So C equals A times 1 minus 0.15 to the t or C equals A times 0.85 to the T. An equivalent question is very likely to be on your SAT, so make sure this makes sense. And If you had any issues with it, drop, jot, jot them down in your notes so that you will get this right when you take the SAT. Come back soon for my next video with math, there's always more.